leather and laces uh ball gloves here back with another video today and today we're going to be uh just going through a collection video here um i've got some more gloves than last time uh, i did have a another pro preferred but i sold that one so yeah you'll see what i got and uh just gonna hop right into it. I don't want it to be too long of a video, but I have one, two, got 12 gloves here. So let's, let's just get started, hop right into it. All right, so first is this training, uh, this training glove mitt. Uh, it's just like an oven mitt. Uh, it's a primed, pick it up at Dick's for real cheap, but I use it just for getting the ball right there catching it in the palm and everything. So, yep, nothing really much to say about that. I love to use this thing, really helps with your hands and quick hands, so there's that one. Next, we got another trainer, uh, which is my personal favorite. Um, the Rawlings Gamer XT. So, it's a Pro Design G95 XT, nine and a half inches. This glove is awesome. I uh, use it traditional, broken in, and uh, here's a ball in the pocket. So yeah, use that a lot too for uh, different things and everything. But always start by using this, warming up with it, getting some infield work in nice and wide as well. So yeah, there's that one. Um, so I guess we'll just keep going with Rawlings. Um, so right here, this is the glove that uh, kind of got me into gloves and got me liking gloves and everything. Uh, my 11 and 12 year old gamer, Rawlings GG Elite. Been released a few times in different colors, as you can tell. Um, so yeah, ball in the pocket. Swallows the ball. Also, I don't think you'll be able to tell, but there's a big, yeah, you can. There's a rip in the lining. But that comes with use and lots of uh, years of having it. So, yeah, there's that one. Next, we will go into this Rawlings Heart of the Hide. Um, 31 pattern. Uh, it's got the H-Web 11 and a half inch. And it is a Pro 314-6BC. Um, I love the limited heel padding. Well, pretty much no heel padding at all. So this one is awesome. Um, swallows the ball, but like honestly has a pretty shallow pocket, especially for two in the pinky. It just sits right there where it's at. And uh, yeah, it's just an awesome glove overall. Uh, broken in broken in pretty much since the day I got it I got this one at the perfect game world series down in Florida last fall which I had talked about in the last collection video um, so yeah it's got that adhesive stain coming through um, this is a blim right there blim uh, but there's nothing wrong, wrong with it at all so yeah very nice glove <clears throat> All right, so hopping into the next one, we'll go with that one. We'll go with this. Oh, that, I should have just done this first because it's older. Uh, this is my custom Rawlings Heart of the Hide. Um, parents got it for me for Christmas one year. Uh, Pro 12 OFS-18. Uh, 12 inch, fully swallows the ball. It's my pitching glove. I used to use it a lot for pitching because it matched my old team's colors, but yeah, just does not hold its shape anymore. So it's held up great though. I love that glove. Next, this is one of my newer gloves. The next three gloves you guys have not seen at all. I don't think. Um, so yeah, right here it is. Rawlings, part of the hide. Uh, actually, it's a 23 pattern, which is cool in my opinion. Uh, I have been using it a lot. It's a Pro 234-2 RSSG, 11 and a half inches. Um, 
very, very thin glove. Super, super light as well. Um, I just love it all around. Here's the pocket on it. I haven't had it for too long, but it is pretty broken in. I've been using it a lot. Uh, here's Tune the Pink. So, yeah. Fully swallows it, Tune the Pink. Uh, the web was real loose, but I tightened it a little bit. Um, so, yeah. There's that one. <clears throat> and then, next, we'll go into this other Rawlings Heart of the Hide, which I think that you guys will love. Um, this is... My Rawlings Heart of the Hide Pro 200 pattern. I uh, got this from the Rawlings shop in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So, yeah, very, very nice glove. Um, it's got the embroidery right here with the Rawlings sign. All white, which, like, I was iffy about using it at first, but now it's... It's awesome. Like, I love it. I love the break point. Uh, it does play a little bit deeper. Uh, that's what I've learned about the 200 patterns. So, yeah, Pro 200 pattern, Pro Grade, Pro 204 2WBZ, 11 and a half inches. Uh, getting a little bit of wear on that heart of the hide sign, but it's beautiful. The And this glove is actually super cool. It's got the leather palm pad. But as you see right here, this is a custom tag. So, like, th there's a story behind uh, the gloves that have these tags. I don't exactly remember what it is, but it's something like, um, like, uh, custom-made gloves. But, like, so this is a custom glove, but it's, like, factory-made. Like, uh, like, there's more than just one produced of it i'm not sure so don't quote me on that i don't want to say anything wrong so you can look it up if you want to but also i had unlaced the heel and i cut the heel pad out so now it's real thin and i love it so much more and it's allowed it to get more broken in but here's the pocket on it I've used it a ton, so yeah, also has a very loud crack, and if you're wondering what this is, this is the zebra mesh with the white inlay there, so yeah, very nice glove, in my opinion. All right, uh, last, last Rawlings that I have, and uh, last new glove that you guys have not seen yet, is this Rawlings Pro Preferred, uh, it's an MP pattern. Pro S12 IC, uh, it's all camel glove. One thing that I love about it is the thinness right here. Um, I do feel that somebody took the heel pad out of it. Um, this is I, I, I this is not my glove. Um, like it's my glove now, but um, it was a used glove. I traded for it, so yeah. But it's it's not broken in like an MP pattern like you would normally see an MP pattern broken in like this thumb up like that but this one's broken in thumb to ring very very broken in and feels good now this glove is for sale or trade you can offer up on it um uh dm me on my instagram at um leather underscore laces underscore and underscore ball gloves so i know that's long but it will be in the district in the description uh, below. So, yeah. Also, it's just very buttery glove overall. Um, or you can comment on here if you want it. I'll be checking those as well. Uh, I use it too in the pinky. Traditional feels good as, as well. But yeah. So, yep. There's that pro preferred. And now we are on to the last. Uh, four gloves, uh, which are all Wilsons. So right here is my Wilson 80,017-88. All the way broken in. I gamed it a little bit last fall with US Elite. Um, so yeah, 1788, 11.25, spread out, used, 
and all the way broken in. Good pocket on it. Uh, not much to say about this glove, honestly. I love it. It does me good. All right. Next glove we got is this Wilson A2000 PP05. Two in the pink. Got a nice palm stain there. Fully swallows the ball. Um, it's a nice glove, in my opinion. I like it. Uh, it's got a nice wide form. Uh, in my personal opinion, PPO5s are not my favorite kind of glove. Uh, don't have my favorite break point, my favorite feel. So, in my opinion, I don't like the PPO5s uh, as much as the regular uh, 1786. All right, next we will go with my gamer. Uh, this Wilson A2000 DP15. So, I'll spend a little bit more time on this glove. Um, it's just, it's been with me through everything, you know, uh, it's getting a little bit cracked everywhere, a lot cracked everywhere. <laughs> um, but this is just, this is what's, what I've been using all my life pretty much since 12 years old. Um, but I love it. It's got that massive palm stain. It's flat as a pancake, but it still holds its shape. Um, but it's so flat and spread out, which I love. Everything just goes right there to the palm. Um, right there. And then, I mean, it almost swallows the ball. But this glove, in my opinion, is just perfect. Um, it does have a lot of wear, as you can tell. Um, there's a crack right in here. Right there right there is cracking uh, I mean it's still super comfortable though it's got that real good indent and I relace it through the web and the fingers um, a while ago a couple years ago but yeah I mean this glove is just awesome I can't stop using it I really want to move on to a different glove but I just can't I'm so comfortable with this one and you don't change what's working for you so yeah there's that one Wilson A2000 DP15 from 2016. All right, now on to our last glove. Um, right here, we have this Wilson A2K 1786 uh, 2021 model. And uh, I mean, not much has changed from the last time you guys have seen it. Um, I have not, I'm not even thrown with it. Um, it's from the Wilson Premier. So, I just kind of like keeping it nice, but I haven't really used it that much at all. It's got a shallow pocket, but there's the break-in on it. It's got the snake skin and super skin on it. Really like it. I like the tan lace as well. It gives it a good look, but yeah. So, that's going to conclude the video from here. Um, I hope you guys liked all the gloves. If you want to see any um, uh, reviews or anything on them, uh, just let me know. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I got them piled up right here behind me. Got 12 of them and hopefully getting more soon. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, comment down below or DM me on my Instagram. And uh, yeah, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.